As a home cleaning technician, you are a professional tradesperson. Just like a carpenter must know how to use and maintain their tools, you have the same responsibility as a home cleaning professional. As a skilled tradesperson, every Better Life maid must maintain their equipment, keep their caddies well organized, and also their supplies stocked. And we must always clean up after ourselves and make sure not to leave traces of your work lying around. As a master cleaning technician, it's important to have a range of tools at your disposal. Let's go over some of the essential tools and their best uses. Let's get started. Tools Overview As a cleaning professional, it's important to have the right tools for the job. That's why you should have a fresh set of cleaning tools for each home you service and make sure to clean and sanitize them at the end of the workday. When it comes to cleaning services, it's always best to start with the least abrasive tool you have and work your way up as needed. This will help reduce the risk of damaging surfaces and allow you to clean effectively. For example, if you are trying to remove a stubborn spot on a glass shower door, you might start by using a microfiber cloth, then move up to spraying the surface and using a scraper. If those methods don't work, you could try using a magic eraser. As you gain more experience, you'll learn which tools are more effective for different tasks and be able to choose the right one quickly. But in the meantime, remember to start with the least abrasive option and work your way up as needed. By following this approach, you'll be able to clean effectively and protect the surfaces in your clients' homes. Cleaning solutions. One of the best parts of working for Better Life Maids is our great line of effective and safe cleaning products. You can be rest assured that everything we use while cleaning is designed to be safe enough that you can even let your own kids clean with it. Without getting too technical, our products are more about being pine friendly rather than smelling pine fresh, meaning our products rapidly biodegrade and 99% of our ingredients are naturally derived. Bottom line, we make and use safe but effective products that set the standard for household cleaning products. Both the light duty, AKA glass cleaner, as well as the heavy duty, AKA all purpose cleaner, are made of active ingredients, sodium hydroxide and H2O. Our disinfectant is made of hypochlorous acid and H2O. While those sound like scary chemicals, sodium hydroxide is primarily the same chemical as common as dish soap, and it has some properties that help it collect dirt and scrub surfaces effectively. While high concentrations of sodium hydroxide can be caustic, you can see that we are using a very diluted and very safe concentration. Light duty is 0.007% sodium hydroxide with a dilution factor of 13 to one. Heavy duty is 0.01% sodium hydroxide with a dilution factor of nine to one. Hypochlorous acid sounds kind of scary as well, but it is actually the same chemical that our blood cells produce to fight infections. It is one of the safest and most effective disinfectant products you can use. Our disinfectant is 0.046% hypochlorous acid at 500 parts per million. You will also be provided with cleaning powders such as Barkeeper's Friend or Bonami. You will use products such as these for non-porous surfaces in kitchen and bathroom areas. These are great for cutting through grease, restoring shine to uncoated porcelain. Use it also to remove tarnish, water spots, and mineral deposits. You should not use these powder cleaners on the gold, silver, polished stones such as marble, granite, lacquered, painted, or mirrored surfaces. In the kitchen, you may want to use this for heavy grease removal in areas such as sinks, stove to cooktops, exteriors, backsplashes, porcelain, ceramic dishes, and drained floors. In bathrooms, this is also great for soap scum and these area sinks, bathtubs, showers, faucets, toilets, and tile and grout. 
but not recommended for colored grout. We will mostly use this product in bathtubs, shower wall, toilets, and sinks, as they work incredibly well in these areas of the home to keep that in mind when using this product. Please review the information on the label of these products and the safety sheets that can be found in the resource tab of your Made Central account. And if you are ever unsure about a product on a specific service, always feel free to call or message the office before using it. We are here for you and to help you along the way. Microfiber cloths. What is microfiber? It is a textile made from super fine synthetic yarns split into millions of microscopic fibers that are up to a hundred times finer than human hair. This gives it an enormous amount of surface area and makes it highly absorbent. A microfiber cloth can hold seven times its weight in water and is much better cleaning tool than cotton cloths. Your microfiber cloths will be one of your primary cleaning tools and are safe to use on virtually any surface in a home. Dusters. Short dusters. These are for shelves, easy to reach areas, and furniture. Long dusters. Long dusters are used for hard to reach areas, ceiling fans, ceilings, blinds. These are also made of microfiber material. Brushes. Cup and toilet brushes. Cups are used to hold dirty toilet brushes. We replace both after each home. When it comes to the toilet brushes, do not forget to clean under the rim of the toilet seat, down in the main hole of the toilet, and around the edges of the bowl. Detail brushes. This is where our detail brushes come in handy. They are also great for smaller areas, hard to get to areas, like corners of showers and detailing. Medium brushes. These brushes are great for bathtubs, floors, and larger areas. They have medium bristles, meaning they are excellent for both wet and dry applications. In addition, they are generally safe for stainless steel, but always use caution when using them on any surface. Stiff brush. These are best used for grout and soap scum found in bathrooms. Avoid using stiff bristles on stainless steel equipment to avoid scarring or scratching. Magic erasers. They're great for cleaning tubs, sinks, glass, and fiberglass shower doors. But keep in mind, we do not use them on wood or mirrors. Also, when using a magic eraser is that the material is abrasive. So you'll want to make sure that you're not using it on anything that could be damaged by an abrasive cleaner. For examples, walls, marble, and granite. It's always best to test in a small, hard to see area before using on the surface if you're ever unsure. Plastic scrapers. Always use these first before your metal erasers to prevent scrapes and damaging counters. These items are great to use before your metal razors on the tubs and tile for soap scum removal and sticky countertops. Razors. First and foremost, be extremely cautious when using razors, and this should be your last line of defense. Here are some places you might find a razor blade helpful. Scraping stubborn burnt on messes off glass top stoves. Clearing crumbs out of the spaces between your stove top and countertops. Scraping sticker residue from glass surfaces. Make sure to spray the surface thoroughly before use. Never use a razor or scraper on a dry surface. Masks and gloves. Masks may be required during high risk periods such as COVID outbreaks and flu season. Some clients prefer that we always wear a mask in their homes. So please make sure to check your notes. It should be in the required equipment field if they must be worn in that house. Gloves should also be worn when cleaning wet rooms such as kitchens or bathrooms and are recommended for most cleaning activities. These items will help prevent spreading illnesses to the elderly and immunocompromised, which is extremely important to us as Better Life maids. Mops and poles, mop heads. These are soaked in water or light duty cleaners, depending on your preferences 
and the client's wishes. Always make sure to keep up with your client's requests when you're working on a home so you know which flooring materials you can and can't use. Extending mop poles. These nifty poles are used to also dust hard to reach places. All you have to do is remove the head of the mop pole and twist on your duster for maximum reach. Vacuums. The vacuums we provide you with on the first day of solo cleaning are from then on your responsibility. We are trusting you to maintain, keep them clean and report to the office if you are having a problems with your vacuum so we can either replace it or help you figure out the problem. Along with your vacuum, you will also receive several attachments that will help you with detailing as well as getting different kinds of debris or hair. Here are some of the attachments that will come with your vacuum. Power brush, how it works. A non-clunky fix for carpeted stairs. This mini motorized tool with a rotating brush roll sucks up the dust in seconds, step by step. Other uses, clear dirt and dust from other tight spaces like the floor of a powder room or a small closet. Dusting brush, how it works. Inch long bristles surround the opening of this tool, providing gentle abrasion to dislodge dust particles from lampshades, window treatments, baseboards, and window screens without any scratching. Other uses, dust air vents and refrigerator coils, chair and table legs, the inset panels of doors and cabinets, and small decorative pieces like clocks and bookends. Crevice cleaner, how it works, the angle tip helps this eight to 12 inch long piece grab debris from tight spots like baseboard edges and under the front of the oven, the washer and other appliances. Other uses, suction out smaller spots too, clear dust from a door jam, dirt from a window track, cobwebs from corners, crumbs from car seats and debris lodged in tufted upholstery. Pro tip, for a more thorough room cleaning, if you have the time, you can run the crevice tool along the parameter before your usual vacuuming routine on the rest of the floor. Miscellaneous, clear bags. These are only used for dirty microfiber cloths, mops, and dusters. Grocery bags. These are for your dirty magic erasers, gloves, masks, and lining bathroom or small trash cans throughout the home. Screwdrivers. You will use your screwdriver as needed to maintenance your vacuum and take apart pieces to clean as needed. Scissors. These will be used to cut fibers from your beater bar of your vacuum to prevent damaging your vacuum as well as providing better suction. Step ladder. Always be careful when using step ladders, but these will be an excellent tool in large homes or getting tough areas such as tops of fridges, cabinets, high windows, and high ceiling fans. Cleaning checklists. These checklists are one of the most important tools you can utilize to maximize your earnings at Better Life Mates. We leave these little magical pieces of paper to let our clients know what was done, what needs to be done next time, and to leave special notes to help make the client feel special. The checklists can encourage customers to leave you a scorecard and good scorecards will then ask the customer if they would like to leave a tip. Make sure you leave the checklist behind after each visit. Cleaning and sanitizing your tools. After your shift, you will be sanitizing your brushes and scrapers, packing your bag, performing maintenance on your vacuum as needed. All brushes and scrapers will be placed into a bin with disinfectant. Let them sit for five minutes. While they're soaking, this is a perfect time to pack your tool bag for the upcoming week ahead. Please make sure that once you are finished sanitizing your tools, rinse them and put them away. It is crucial to make sure that these items are placed back in the correct areas so other team members can find them as well. Using a client's product. There may be times when a client asks you to use their products. This can be for many reasons, including personal preference, allergies, or due to the warranty of an item. You must 
communicate this information with the office and get approval from the office before using a client's products. If the item is approved, it will be added to the work order notes along with a link to the SDS sheet for that product. You are never allowed to use a client's product unless they request it and it has been approved as this will prevent damage to clients' properties and for your own safety as cleaning chemicals can cause serious harm if used improperly. Avoiding product damage. Even though our products are all natural, there are some precautions we need to take with certain products to ensure these products do not cause damage. Here are examples of where our products should not be used. This list is not intended to be all-inclusive. Barkeeper's friend, do not use in black or colored sinks or on any sort of natural stone, which could include granite, marble, stainless steel, etc. Magic erasers, do not use on counters, plastic, cabinets, wood, or on any other surface that has a finish. Think of a magic eraser as a very fine sandpaper. They can easily damage a surface if used on certain surfaces or if used incorrectly. If you aren't sure if a magic eraser can be used on a particular surface, but it would be beneficial to use, be sure to test it in an inconspicuous area before using it on the surface. Cleaning solutions. Never spray directly on surfaces, except in showers or bathrooms. For example, spraying directly on a picture in a glass frame will allow the water to seep under the glass and damage the art. This can be a very expensive mistake if there is a framed piece of art with a high value. Even spraying directly on wood furniture is not safe. You can apply too much moisture and cause the furniture to swell. Razor blades. Only use razor blades on durable surfaces. In addition, only use them after spraying the surface with solution and only at a low angle. A low angle means that the way you are holding the tool is almost parallel to the surface. Razors can damage surfaces, so use them carefully. And if you are ever in doubt, use a plastic scraper or other tool instead. It's important to be careful when using these products as they can be abrasive and may not be suitable for all surfaces. Finally, it's important to remember to always clean up after yourself and make sure not to leave any traces of your work behind. This includes not leaving wet rags on furniture and making sure to put tools and supplies back in their proper place. By following these guidelines, you'll be able to provide top quality cleaning services and leave your clients with a great impression.